It's time for Outdoors Bound with George Noliff. Sponsored by Kubota of Lynchburg. As we head outdoors bound this morning, solving a mystery at Smith Mountain Lake. And what the answer is found, it could mean better fishing and better management of a multi-million dollar resource. WFXR's George Noliff takes a closer look. You hook them, but what happens if you toss striped bass back at Smith Mountain Lake? Well, that depends on a lot of things, like the time of year, water temperature, and where the fish was hooked. In warmer months, the common thinking, based on past research, is that a lot of those released fish are going to die. They fight so hard, and the lactic acid buildup, lack of oxygen, and warm water temps are just too much to overcome. That's why there's no size limit on stripers at SML between June 1st and October 31st. Oh, you can't fight like that. But maybe Smith Mountain Lake is different. That's what the Virginia Department of Wildlife Resources wants to find out. It'll answer many questions that the anglers have had. That's DWR fisheries biologist Dan Wilson, and it's his job to manage the fisheries of Smith Mountain Lake. This summer, members of his team are going to catch striped bass, equip them with a radio tracking device, and then release and follow them to see if they die. And it will help us a lot in management, trying to work through how people fish in the summer and what happens to what they catch in the summer. So it'll give us a lot of insight for better management in the future. The thing about Smith Mountain Lake is it's different from a lot of other southern reservoirs. It's deeper, stays cooler, and is oxygenated deeper, too. Now, that could give stripers a fighting chance at survival they wouldn't have in other lakes. And depending on if the research confirms that, it could mean new regulations to improve the striper population and the fishery at SML. We will wait to see what the results of the study tell us. And then if there's something that we need to do different in our management because of the additional information we have, we can do that. How y'all doing, folks? That study's going to run through the summer. We should have a better idea of the catch and release mortality rate by this time next year. And that could have a huge impact on how the striper fishery at SML is managed. It could lead to new harvest and size regulations. And George, is there anything that we can do when a fish is released to make sure that it's you know safe? Uh, absolutely. There, there is a huge factor in striped bass mortality, and that is the way they're handled after being caught. If you're going to release a striped bass, you want to wet your hands to protect the fish's skin coating. you got to work quickly to remove the hook, although make sure you're not doing any more damage. Take a quick photo, then lift the fish with both hands, supporting the weight of its body, and slip it back into the water. Now, if you follow those techniques, that procedure is going to help to save a lot of those fish that you release. Yeah, and in the long term, yeah, certainly going to help everything out at the lake. Absolutely. All right, George, thanks so much.